A former group managing director, Polaris Bank Limited, Tukumba Abiru, has emerged all Progressives Congress APC's uh, consensus candidates for Lagos East Senatorial District. Abiru, who was declared winner of the East Senatorial Primary at the Shomolu Local Government, is to fill the vacuum behind, uh, left behind by the late Senator Adibayo Oshinowo. Chesinta Obioku reports. The candidate emerged after all registered party members in Lagos East through direct primary election held on Thursday in compliance with the requirements of the Independent Natural Electric Commission, INEC. The powers confound on me that I pronounce Mr. Tukumbo Aburu having scored the highest votes on this election that conducted on Osomolo under the APC on the manner of direct primaries. I hereby declare him as the winner. At the by election, which was by affirmation, the chief returning officer Ibrahim Masari announced that Okumbo Abiru recorded a total vote of 111,551 votes only from the return vote from the five local governments, Ebe, Ibejuleki, Ikorodu, Koshofe, and Shomolu, that make up the senatorial district covering 71 words. Invalid, none. Why? Is because we went for a direct primary elections. There is nothing like uh, invalid. This is to certify that Tokumbo Abiru having to call the highest number of broadcast is hereby declared a winner and return elected. Lagos State APC Chairman lauded a non-violence consensus election. Most of them came together, agreed to consensus. Some stepped down for a particular candidate. There have been some states where people are still struggling to go over what we have done seamlessly. Thank God we have a party that is solid, a, a party that is formidable, a party that is disciplined. It takes discipline for parties to just accept what the leadership has in the country. So uh, I'm proud of APC in Lagos State. It has become a model for the nation. The by-elections in Lagos East Senatorial District and Koshefe II are scheduled to hold on October 31st. Jacinta Obiuko, Plus TV Africa. Africa. Shaye Oladejo, Lagos State APC spokesman, joins us now via Zoom. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. All right. We'd like to find out about the consensus candidacy option. How and why? Thank you very much. We, we simply follow the, the details, the provisions of the constitution of our All Progressive Congress. The constitution allows the party to choose its candidates for elections either through consensus arrangements or by direct primary. And you agree with me that the consensus arrangements makes for cohesion, it makes for unity within the party, it will not finish with the primaries and start uh, any reconciliation process that will by and large be a distraction in preparing for the real elections. So the, the leadership of the party um, made the consensus arrangements and you can see that the consensus arrangement was ratified and affirmed by over 100,000 members of the party who came out in mass to ratify the candidature of the two gentlemen that emerged for the respective elections. So it is, it's a process that shows that our democracy is maturing by the day, particularly in Lagos State APC, and we can only be better for it in the years ahead. Hmm. The regular criticism against your party in Lagos is the alleged culture of imposition. Is this different in the emergence of your yes. candidates? Well, I, I would just like to say that there is nothing like imposition in, in, in our party. It is a process. It's a process whereby you, you follow the laid down rules and regulations of the party. There's internal democracy. You reach out to the leadership and the membership of the party, trying to sell your candidacy to those members. And is you either march through the consensus agreement or you go through the red primaries. There, there is no, it's a popular refrain from the opposition camp that APC imposes. 
that there, there is nothing that, that can be further from the truth. And if this process has been productive over time, I, I don't see why we need to change this. It's quite popular with our members, uh, Fan White. Hmm. You just mentioned uh, that it's quite popular with your members, but the name Abiru sounds unpopular in the political cycle. Are you, how sure are you that he would eventually win in the by-election? The name Abiru itself is not, is not unpopular, as you said. It, it might not be your, the name of your everyday politician that's come along in politics, but, but it has always been the public space. He was a commissioner in Lagos State, his dad was a senator in the past, and uh, that is the hard old household name in Lagos is, particularly Ikorudu. During the lockdown, he's also on record that he gave back to society, trying to ameliorate the suffering of the poor masses. I can tell you that the, the strategy is for Lagos State APC to continue to put the best foot forward in terms of are selecting candidates for various positions and such good personalities will be able to attract dividends of democracy to our state, particularly to Lagos State Central Districts, where, where it meets with, with his colleagues in the Red Chamber. So I'm very positive that Tokomba Abiru will come October 31st this year and we emerge as the winner of Lagos State Central by-elections. There's no doubt about it. Mm. Thank you very much, Mr. Oladijo, for speaking with us. Thank you very much.